Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Obviously before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printed. If you use the word sport in the discount code, you will get 10% off your purchase price. Make sure you go do that, especially like after last week's results, where I think, yes, yeah, West Ham. Draw 3-3 three, three with Tottenham after Tottenham go 3 0 That'd be a great feat to get printed on the shirt. Make sure you go do that and use the word sport for 10% off your purchase price. But anyway guys, you might just realise I've said a bit bugged like that is because I'm recovering from a cold. I'm nearly there, uh, if you're wondering. But anyway guys, you, you know what to do. Give us a big hot thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Aston Villa versus Leagues. Leagues, I do think, you know, really did just really miss out uh, last weekend. I think the fact of you know, losing one nil. I think it was to uh, who was it? Wolverhampton. You know, I Aston Villa as well. This could really could be a tasty game. It is live on telly, I believe. Actually, it might not. It might be box office. I do. I do not agree with this box office uh, deal. What's going across? I don't pay for any football. I won't do. I rather give it to charity. Like Fifteen quid for a game. Yeah, I know a lot of you fans ain't happy with that either. Um, as far as this one goes, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go with a one old score life for that one. And uh, put your predictions down below in this video, after watching this video, and how many do you think I will get right this weekend as well. Uh, the next one is West Ham versus Manchester City. Yeah, again, as I mentioned at the top of this video, West Ham coming back for three goals down against Tottenham to draw 3-3. Three, three. Good goal by Lanzini as well. I got to take nothing away from that. Are we looking at a slightly different West Ham squad than we were last season? We're going to have to wait and see. Going up against an OK Manchester City. Can't quite remember how many City got on this weekend, but, you know, it was... I do think uh, this game could be a bit harder to call. I think I might just go for about a City win, and I'll go for a 2-1 Man City win. My next one is Fulham versus Crystal Palace. Now, Fulham, I think they... How did they go on? Oh, they drew, didn't they? She Sheffield United. Uh, Crystal Palace drew to Brighton. One of the results I did get right last weekend. Uh, look at three, two different teams. I'm going to go for... A 2-1 Crystal Palace win for that one. My next one is Manchester Manchester United versus Chelsea. Obviously Man United have taken the big uh, gap to play in Pre Premier League. I can't remember what I call it now. Premier League Europe I think it's going to be called. Could that shake things up for the Premier League? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously it will do. Uh, going up against Chelsea, an OK Chelsea side. I'm going to go for a Man United win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Man United win. And that's after I beat PSG as well. My next one is Liverpool versus Sheffield United. Liverpool, you know, doing their thing. Not really... I know they drew to Everton the previous weekend. That Mane offside goal, I don't think it should be given offside. Where is the gap between, you know, um, that margin they said, the Premier League said they want to leave. Yeah, I think at the Liverpool show will have all three points. And I'll talk about the Pitford Challenge in just a minute. Uh, Girl up against the Sheffield United side who has been struggling since the start of the season. Uh, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. My next one is Southampton versus Everton. Now, as I said, I speak about the Pitford Challenge and I will do that. I think Pitford should have been sent off. Now, I know a lot of you fans are saying, well, if it's your club. One of my, one of my, club, my club players who I support did actually get sent off for a similar challenge. And I'll talk about that when we get down to that game. But Pitford, he went in, he went rush, should have been a red card, I'm sorry. But this how proves how 
bad our match officials are. I, you know, if I was a different team, possibly seeing red anyway. But Everton do about the top of the table. Uh, I'll go for an Everton win and I'll go for a 2-0 Everton win. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Newcastle. Wolverhampton beating Leagues. Uh, I can't remember how Newcastle got on. But this game is going to be... I think it's going to be quite a good game. But I do think it might be, you know, a bit of a 50-50... Uh, game. I'm going to go for a Wolverhampton win just about and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Wolverhampton win. My next one is Arsenal versus Leicester. Arsenal, I can't, I can't remember how neither team got on. Uh, Arsenal lost. I only know that from something but I can't remember who they lost to. Anyway, going to go for a draw in this one and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton over Albion versus West Brom. Now, as you all know, that's who I support, that's where I'm from. I'm from Brighton. Right, Lewis Dunk goes in for a reckless challenge. I'll agree, it should have been a red card, right? But if you see that challenge between the Pitford challenge, there's not a lot in between it. As I said, Lewis Dunk got sent off. Lewis Dunk is over the three match band. But this is where the Premier League have got to start standing up to the FA and the match officials going, look, you can't call it one way and not the other. But, you know, as I said, he did get sent off. I do think it was a red. But we swear Pitford should have had a match band as well. But obviously, don't know if it's going to happen. Very disappointed by the Premier, um, Premier League match officials. And everyone involved in the match official uh, association. Go forward to the game. West Brom are struggling. I'm going to go for a Brighton win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Brighton win. My last one is Burnley versus Tottenham. Now Burnley and West Brom did play each other the previous week. I did get that result correct by a 0-0 Slaughter. The first ever £15 pay-per-view game. That ended nil nil, and what I've been saying, it was a bit of a disappointment. Now, this is where I wouldn't mind. Okay, being paid for you, I I have to agree that clubs need to find money somehow. But I think it should be about five or a game. You think five or a game, you get I don't know two hundred people pay that, still make you quite a bit of money. So, but yeah, I don't agree with the price at all, and you can see my video on that on my channel as well. Go forward to the game, as I said, Tottenham did lose a three goal lead to West Ham. Very disappointed by Tottenham. I didn't actually see all the game, but, you know, as she said, West Ham come back in like nine minutes. Proves that anything can happen in football. Going forward to the game, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. But anyway, guys, sorry if I sound a bit bunged up. But anyway, put your predictions down below. Make sure you share more videos. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.